Hello everyone, welcome welcome, my name's Charlie and today I'm going to be building the cutest little farm on my island quinoa. This was a build idea I'd been collecting materials for and thinking about for a long time and I'm super happy with how it came out so let's just dive right into it. So, this is the area where the farm will be. It's very basic right now, but my first step was to place these two retro transportation stops I'd gotten in an attempt to create the illusion of a barn. I also had this very cute windmill that I thought could look really nice and natural standing next to it, so I left it right there for now. One of my favorite things to do when building is to place paths and have items on top of them to separate the different areas. When I started placing down dirt paths though, I realized that I love the way it looks, so I decided to fill in the whole farm area with those paths. I still wanted that separation between areas, but because the darker dirt path was sort of my base now, I decided to use the regular dirt path to accent them. Probably the biggest asset to this farm was going to be wheat fields. I really love the way they look and I feel like they make the paths blend more seamlessly together and add a tasteful sprinkle of vegetation. I also used some of the actual wheat crops that I had and dispersed them throughout to add some texture. A little crunchy, little visual, um, uh, okay. Another big ticket item that I was super excited to utilize was this tractor. My biggest goal for the build was to make all the components look natural, so I added some sugarcane and wheat crops in front of the tractor to look like it's gonna be harvesting them, sort of, and then this path behind to give the appearance of tire tracks. It didn't look that great, so instead I made it more like a tilled empty field that had just been harvested, if that makes sense. I realized that this path was very versatile though, so I decided to use it to simulate some tiny crop fields as well, just scattered around the farm. I didn't like the way it looked when they were just 3x3 three three squares of crops, so I was hoping to find a bit more of a balance where I could still grow them as I needed, but also have them look visually pleasing. The first one I tackled was a tomato area, and I tried alternating paths and crops in rows, but it looked really unnatural, so I made it a lot more varied and sprinkled the crops throughout the paths. I actually ended up liking the design a lot, so I did the same thing with my carrots and also dropped some harvested crops on the ground to add even more variation. Maybe it brings down my island score, but hey, we don't need to talk about that, you know? Once I'd done the same thing with my potatoes, I started putting down some of the items I'd collected to add a bit more busyness and visual interest. I used some barrels, a couple hay beds, which looked amazing, and also this dog. This is honestly one of my favorite parts of the build. The dog on its own looks super cute, but then I had the idea to put down the standard paw print paths. It added so much to it. Words don't describe how proud I was of this brain blast. Honestly, it wasn't even that deserved, but I just loved it so much. After finishing that up, I returned to placing some objects and put down some wash tubs, a couple of my Milo Ventimiglia rocks, a handcart next to the crops, and also some fence posts. Okay. <gasps> Wolfgang! He likes the dog, that's so cute! Oh my god! We were definitely far from finished at this point, but things were going so well. I even had Wolfgang's approval and everything. So one big thing is that I wanted the farm to have a purpose. I didn't actually have any animal objects, there are a lot out there, I just don't have them. But then I realized I could customize the decoy duck, and my life changed. This was now a duck farm, it's official. Mostly because it's my only option, but hey, who doesn't like ducks? I, actually in middle school, one of my friends just had a duck. Don't ask why. And I was like, gee golly, I want a duck. So I asked my parents if we could get one, and of course they were like, uh, no. Why on earth would we get a duck? But I was so enraged that they said no and determined to get myself a duck, so I went online and purchased a duck from some farm that was like a five hour bike ride away from my house. And my plan was to bike to the farm and then bike the duck home. And I, did, I didn't really plan past that, clearly. But yeah, I ended up not doing it because I didn't want to bike 10 hours, go figure. So yeah, moral of the story, ducks are great. Directly afterward, I had a horrible realization. There's a gold wheat field color, and my current wheat fields were not that color. They were like this gross green, and I just didn't notice somehow. I thought it was the lighting, I don't know. I definitely needed to customize them all, which was incredibly annoying, so I put that off for the time being. Now that I knew about the decoy duck thing, I customized a handful more and sprinkled them around the farm in a natural looking way. They just look so good, I love them. Oh, oh, Pippi, no. You are not allowed. Please remove yourself from the hay bed. I... Do I... Oh. Get off. Oh wow, that actually worked. 
I'd gotten some substantial work done on the main farm area, so I began to focus on the outside of it. It was at this point that I had the idea of making a little bit of a farmer's market in the space to the right of it. I just went on a road trip about a month ago and stopped at the most incredible farmer's market ever, so I was very inspired by that. I think it'll make the different areas of the island blend better. I started this off by adding a stall and crafting up some items like this veggie basket, which is very, very cute. Then I focused on placing down some of these stone dirt paths. At first I filled in the whole area with this path, and then I decided it looked really unnatural and was just a bit too big. So I kicked away some of it and added dirt pathing to create a bit of like a dirt collection-y type of area. I am clearly no farmer. I also put down this bulldozer that I'd gotten and added some ammonite fossils to sort of simulate dirt being kicked up and moved. I was super excited about this too because I had the idea a long time ago and it actually turned out really well. With the paths laid down, I began adding some more items like fences and hay beds and such just to add a bit more interest. At this point I'd made a bunch of progress on the actual building portion of the farm, so I started to turn my attention to adding some new patterns for texture and to break up some areas with a lot of dirt. They were mostly little mud looking ones and a couple fall mushrooms and stumps and such that just fit in really well. I thought it added a lot more life and hey, I mean Lucky seemed like he loved it, so that's how you know. After putting in all that work, I refocused back on the wheat fields, and once I'd picked them all up, I headed to Harv's Island and customized them before painstakingly returning them to all their original spots. Incredibly annoying, but definitely worth it. The gold color looked way better than the pale green or whatever variation they were before. The build was almost done at this point, but there were just some last finishing touches that I wanted to do. For starters, I'd ordered a third retro transportation stop to put in the back of the barn area, which really rounded it out. There were also some extra items I had lying around, like water buckets and hoses and such, that I scattered around the farm, and as a finishing touch, I put some duck nests all around and added a bit of a feeding area too. And with some crops added to the farmer's market, I had finished up the build for the time being. All right, so here is the final-ish tour of the farm that I built. I'm super excited about it. Um, ignore my outfit. This <laughs> this is my touring outfit. It's just just don't look at it. Just don't look at it. So you go over this bridge from Marshall's Coffee Shop, and here we are at the farm. Uh, these are my soiled turnips. I didn't really know how the stock exchange worked, so. Just ignore that. So we'll start over here on the left side. Now this goes up to like the museum area that I have going on and then I'm hoping to make like a bit of a creamery ice cream stand type of deal. I just think it fits well because it's like farms. I don't know, all the farms that I go to have like little creameries, okay? Just, just let it go. Then you walk in and you walk past all the crop fields, which I really, really like. I just harvested them so they look kind of like garbage, but just imagine what they would be like if they were in full bloom, you know? We have our tractor down here, which is working hard, harvesting away all the crops that we've been growing. And then just our ducks that are scattered around. We got the duck egg nests and duck in here. I like that duck. This is my favorite duck. And then I want to find a way to integrate the farm into the sort of reds area. Originally I'd been thinking of doing a smuggler's cove and then I was like, eh, that's boring. And then I was going to do kind of like a fishing dock area. And then I was like, mm, I don't know if that fits. So maybe I'll try and have it be like he's shipping produce from the farm to I don't know, other places? Something like that could work, we'll have to think about that. Also, please excuse the disgusting amount of lag. I just recently started actually decorating my island for the first time in my life, and um, yeah, I didn't know that it does that. You're stifling my creativity, please. But yeah, just to finish this off, we have this farmer's market area, and this is definitely the most unfinished part of this whole farm. But right now I just kind of have some crops on display on these little benches, our stall here, and this sign. I love this sign, as well as this little dirt collection area. And I kind of like the way that it looks if you just kind of stand next to the bulldozer and you can see in the background the tractor and the silo and stuff. It just feels very immersive to me. I'm just, I'm very proud of this build. I like it a lot. So yeah, that is the tour. Of course, I will add some new stuff as I get a hold of it over time, especially to the farmer's market. I hadn't really fleshed that out yet. But as it stands now, I'm incredibly proud of the farm, and I honestly think it's my favorite part of Quinoa so far. 
Well, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. And if you did, feel free to leave a like or subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you here. If you want to see more of Animal Crossing and my island, I have my month long videos and lots of other fun stuff that you can go check out. And yeah, that's all I have for today. So I will see you guys next time. Bye.